What's up, Gold Gang? Welcome back to my motherfucking channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Shay. This is Healing to Go to Rome. Um, and if you're a returner, what's up? What it do? I love you. I love your support. Keep liking, keep subscribing. It gives me like a really good it makes me feel like I'm on the right track. And I'm gonna get right into this video because I feel the energy of I'm hearing stagnation. But I, I feel so nervous, and I don't know why. Like, I've uh, recorded a, a hundred videos, a hundred plus videos, and I just feel like this is you guys' energy. Like, I'm tapping into some water energy right now. You could be feeling very anxious. Like, I'm hearing like a mile a minute. Your mind could be racing. I feel like something is coming in for you. I'm hearing cocoon. It's like you're going through this major transformation. There's a need for you to be strong, stay resilient. I feel like spirit is divinely guiding you out of situations that no longer serve you. Something turbulent is going on in your life right now. And, I, and I'm saying that because I see the tides right here. But also the calming. So that's what makes me feel like, and then being that this is water and you're being guided over water, notice that this person, they're not leaving on land, they're leaving in water. So that's what definitely makes me feel like this is some type of divine guidance. It may have something to do with your emotions. I'm hearing overly emotional. I feel like I'm picking up on a Pisces. Take the energies that resonate, whatever don't apply, let it fly. Every reading is not going to be your reading. I have plenty of other readings, and there's plenty of other readers. But yeah, with the Six of Swords, I definitely feel like some type of decision has been made, being that the Swords are down. And I'm also getting some, like, anchor. It's almost like these Swords are protecting you from something. And I'm getting something about mental, like, water and air. So I feel like this is a mind over heart situation. This is something that you had to make. This is the decision that you had to make based off of logic and less emotion. Because I feel like emotion is what got you stuck in this situation. This could be regarding finances, or you could have felt like you were losing some sort of stability by losing by walking away from this situation. But I feel like your spirit is guiding you, divinely guiding you, and leading you away from something. Then obviously they're not going to lead you into more chaos if you just listen. Yeah, I'm being led to tell you to listen to your intuition. Everything is going to be okay. I'm hearing. Give me something else, Spirit. Give me more to this story. What are you moving them away from? Yeah, I'm getting like a very chaotic energy. Look at this. The Nine of Swords. You could have been... um, Like, I'm getting the energy of anxiety. Heavy. Like, I've been getting that in a lot of the, the uh, cars. I feel the energy also... Of of some type of spiritual warfare or some type of warfare. What are you guiding my family away from, spirit? I got the magician. So, spirit could be guiding you away from a trickster. This could be somebody who's very manipulative. They may have a really good talk game. I'm also picking up on the energy of if you notice that this man is going and if you read the cards like he's telling the story, right? It seems like this man is taking his wife and his kid or I'm hearing his accomplices. This, These could be people who it's like your soul tribe taking a little bit. These don't even have to be people. These could just be your bags, your shit. This could be the little bit of baggage that you take it with you to heal. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person is going into their magician power like they're walking away from something walking into their power i feel or you could be walking away from a player somebody who just don't give a fuck 
they kind of just use you for whatever. I feel like this person could have used you for money or some type of stability. Or you were codependent. You thought you needed this person. But if you really look back and realize, you kind of taking care of yourself. You kind of taking care of both of y'all. This doesn't necessarily have to be financially. But I keep seeing money cards and stability cards. This may be something that you're walking into. You could you could be walking into, like, I feel like when you get away from this person, this energy, these people, whatever it is that you're getting away from, you're going to walk into some, some, some type of, like, creativity, like, Yeah. And it's also seven swords on the board. So I feel like you're, you're, it's like you're taking the right steps. You're coming up with some type of strategy. Like, I feel like you're going to walk into, I'm hearing downloads. It's like you're going to walk into clarity. It's like your mind is going to be clear of a lot of fog and a lot of bullshit that was going around you. I also feel the energy of somebody who takes on a lot of other people's energy. And then I got the page of cups. Yeah. With this page of cups here, it reminds me of new energy. And when I was talking about I could be reading on a Pisces, it's also Pisces energy. I'm also being reminded of the moon. Something about your subconscious awareness, I'm hearing. Something about your conscious thoughts. I'm hearing control your thoughts. I feel like you're in the energy of manifesting something. And I'm definitely getting, like, earlier the energy of logic over heart. Logic over heart. I feel like if you was with somebody, they was playing with your emotions, kind of just toying with you. Like, if you notice this fish is in the cup, this person is kind of like, it's a big-ass ocean behind this person, right? It's very childish energy. And they done got a fish and put them in a small cup, took the fish I won't say out of its element because obviously water is in the cup to keep the fish alive or it, or it don't even have to be. This could have been somebody who was starving you. Yeah, I'm getting the energy of starving you of emotion. You are very emotionally invested, but this person wasn't. With the three of swords here, it's like time after time, they backstab you. Time after time, they broke your heart. This could have been three people, three situations, or it just took that third time or something major like i'm getting three big major events it took that third major event for you to realize this person don't really care it's like you working you working on this family relationship by yourself this person could have also been selling you dreams telling you they gonna marry you you could have met this person at a nightclub or something or, or at some type of celebration or it even could have been at work like, I'm getting the energy of two jobs merging or two parts of a business merging or two separate buildings of the same business. Y'all coming together to have some type of celebration, potluck at work. And this is where you met this person at. I feel like this person got a good mouthpiece. Like, they, like, it's like they know exactly what to say to get exactly what they want. Give me one more card, Spirit. I'm being led to tell you that be careful of blaming people for shit you done been through because you have to take responsibility for your part and your role in like in this. Like, and I'm gonna let y'all know right now, this ain't the channel for this ain't always gonna be peaches and cream. I'm gonna give you what spirit tell me. I'm I'm somebody who speaks the truth. I tell the truth. Ain't nothing but real shit going on over here. Like, yeah, I cuss sometimes, but you know what I'm saying? If you like it, you like it. If you don't, if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. I know who do. But it's like, don't come over here expecting just fake cookie cutter messages all the time. And if you notice that the messages are repeating, it's because you're not changing. You're stuck in some type of energy that you need to get out of. And spirit is keep reminding you. I have to keep reminding you of that. Give me one more card, Spirit. But I feel like you're on the verge of some sort of new beginning. I feel like it has something to do with justice, karmic justice. And karmic justice is due 
to everyone. If you was good to people, you get good shit back. If you was horrible and you was a nasty ass person, just expect that energy to come right back to you. Give me one more card, Spirit, to close out this reading. I'm hearing like competition. So it could have been some type of people in competition with you. Or you could have been in competition with somebody and you saw that it served you no good. This could have also been a relationship in competition with somebody who you're in a relationship with. Now, I definitely get the energy. I don't know how the Page of Cups end up back in the deck. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. The Knight of Wands speaks to adventure. It speaks to hastiness. It speaks to something fast coming in or you moving too fast. Um, it also speaks to something passion or you taking action on something that you're passionate about. This could be um, the energy of who you are. You're very passionate about the people who you deal with. Especially when it comes to relationships. But I feel like these people have been playing with you, bro. These cards is telling me that your overall energy was to walk away. Because somebody's playing games. Somebody playing tricks. They could have they even put some type of spell on you. Or they do some type of work. Now, this ain't going to be for everybody. So, take the messages that resonate. But I'm getting that this person was very, very deceitful. I feel like you were getting a lot of downloads and a lot of messages from spirit regarding this situation, but you weren't listening to your intuition. But we going to get off of that because your overall energy is you walking away. With these cards here at the bottom of the deck, I got the four swords. This speaks to meditation. This speaks to getting rest. This speaks to inner knowing like i get like the energy of like um rest but i'm also picking up on some type of energy now i'm not even gonna lie i'm getting like death with the death card and the four swords along with the devil card with the magician this has something to do with status power somebody who's doing root work somebody who's doing um magic somebody playing with something i'm also feeling like the energy of the they're addicted to doing this they're doing this over and over and over you could even be getting downloads about this or like i'm getting the energy of like like i'm picking up on some energy where it's like a person they kind of want to have some type of dominance or control over you. But it it was not to benefit you. It was only to benefit themselves. And I'm hearing it all came crashing down. Something backfired. Somebody was definitely playing with something. They didn't have no business. And it's not going to go in their favor. Especially, look, with the justice card here. I didn't even see that. I was just about to speak on that. Because I feel like you're a divine child. Anytime I see the Page of Pentacles, I see divinity. And I feel like you're somebody who's pure. The Page of Cups popping back out. You're very pure. You're very emotional. And I feel like you have some type of high vibrational spirits. I'm hearing Galactic Federation. Like, you have um, your bloodline. You're, all I can say is that you're definitely protected. So whatever this is, don't worry about it. Spirit is just letting you know if you thought that this was happening, this is your confirmation. But it's not confirmed to you for you to be scared. It's just so you don't have to worry about it thinking whether or not whether this was true. Yes, it is true. Anyway, water energy. I will see you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, fuck with me. I love y'all. I know y'all love me. You wouldn't be here if you wasn't. Yo, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye.